Welcome to the range today. Today we're recovering my personal self-defense. Uh, this is what I carry every day. This is the Shadow Systems MR920. It's pretty much a uh, what I call a Gucci Glock. So it's basically a Glock 19 frame. Uh, it just has all the uh, you know extra stuff on it. it has the flared magazine. Uh, uh, the flare on the magazine, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, uh, better trigger, better barrel, uh, tritium, uh, tritium sights, backup sights, so you can co-witness with the red dot. It's very important to me to be able to have to be able to co-witness your firearm. Uh, it has better sights. I have the Sig Romeo One uh, red dot on it. Uh, upgraded. Recoil, uh, upgraded guide rod, upgraded spring, uh, extended mag release button. There's some other things this thing had on it. I can't remember all the extras now. But yeah, this is what I carry every day. Uh, I love this gun. This is my favorite. Although expensive, um, one thing I do like about this gun, I talked a little bit about it. Uh, if part of buying this gun, you buy an insurance policy. It's included in the price, and yes, it is kind of expensive. Uh, this gun plus the red dot was like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars. Uh, I think that also included some ammo. I can't remember. It's been a while since I bought this. But let's say you, you know, God forbid, you get into a self-defense situation and you have to protect yourself using your handgun. Well, as long as it's lawful, you can't just go out there and do crazy shit. But if it's a lawful, but awful, you know. It's you know, if you got it to protect yourself, it's an awful situation. So as long as it's lawful, you know, you're the good guy in the situation. Because you get into a shooting, police are going to take your firearm. That's evidence now. So you're going to be without your gun to protect you for a while. Well, Shadow Systems doesn't want to leave you unarmed. So they will actually send you another gun until you get yours back. If you get yours back. If you don't, if you don't get yours back, you keep the gun they send you. If you do get yours back... Uh, I would assume you'd want yours back. I don't know if you have an option to keep the one that's in you or not. But uh, that part I don't know about. But yeah, it's kind of cool. They stand behind their products. So you can, uh, you know, they'll actually send you another one. So that's pretty cool. And of course, uh, you got a bunch of different magazine options being a Glock. Uh, you have the Glock 19 magazine, which is flush fit. You have the, uh, the Glock 17 magazine which is what I carry in mine so it's a little bit you know extended out or you can go with uh, a little bit bigger you get a fun stick for a 32 round I believe uh, you know they you know a bit of fun or you can go all the way and get yourself a uh, a drum magazine which I do not have for this gun so uh, we'll go ahead and say that not something I'll be pulling out of my pocket, sadly. Eventually, I'll get one, just the low priority. You know, 30 rounds, you know, for the stick magazines, 50 rounds for the uh, uh, the drum. The drum's so heavy. Uh, I, the stick mags are good enough for me. I will eventually get a drum, and I'll do a video on it, but it's just not today. So, yeah, it's, uh, I would, if you want a really, really good self-defense pistol, and you don't care, uh, you know, spending some money for it, I would highly suggest Shadow Systems MR920. They make a, uh, a full-size version. This is off the Glock 19 for, uh, frame platform. So, uh, but they do make one, you know, the bigger size, the full-size. I don't remember what the number on it is, but uh, it's really cool as well. So if, if you don't care about, if they been getting a little bit bigger gun, a little longer, that's probably one I'd go with. But Glocks are already kind of big for concealment. I, I use, uh, yeah, it, it it disappears. The, but the bigger one, it sticks out a little bit more, in my opinion. So and yeah, even a big boy can uh, can you know use the uh, inside of waistband holster. Just gotta find the right one for you. It took me a long time to find the right one for me. <laughs> Big belly means it's a lot harder to, you have less options. Anyway, I've been yapping for, what, six minutes? No, five minutes. So uh, let's go ahead and get to a little bit of shooting. See how she does. 
I hope I don't make a fool out of myself. Uh, this, is, this is gonna carry. Let's. <laughs> uh, I better be shooting this one good. So uh, let's just start over here. And my sight is turned off. There she goes. It should have shake awake. I don't know if maybe it was awake when I was talking and it went off. I'm just going to get the fun stick out, and uh, so I'm going to start doing is mag dumps. I'm just doing some uh, quick, quick little bursts to be able to, you know, show if you was in a, a close situation, you can you know, get off some quick rounds. Uh, I, I'm partial to three because you don't want to just empty it because uh, if you keep shooting after the threat is gone, well, a self-defense shooting can very quickly... Uh, evolved to a murder charge. You know, once the threat is gone, that doesn't mean you can keep shooting. You shoot once the threat is no longer a threat, you stop. You know, that, what, what I've been taught is three shots, readdress, three shots, readdress. But uh, let's get a few more on target. That's the uh, Shadow Systems MR920 in 9mm, so it's something I should have said. Yeah, uh, something, that's a, uh, definitely a gun that I highly, highly suggest. And, of course, uh, with your actual self-defense rounds, which something a lot of people don't do is they'll only uh, use, you know, target rounds on the range to put their gun through, but they don't actually test their... Uh, you know, their protection rounds or hollow point rounds. Hollow points tend to feed different than uh, regular rounds. So make sure that whenever you, uh, whatever hollow points you're carrying, that you test at least a box. You, know, you gotta at least, you know, put two or three boxes through it, but at least one box. You wanna put it through your gun on the range to make sure everything feeds properly and it hits in the same place. Hollow points will hit in a different place than regular range ammo. I don't know if that's why I'm hitting a little, little low at this range, it shouldn't matter too much. It looks like I am missing just a little bit low on the ones I missed. So, but, yeah, I, I, and instead of blaming it on ammo, I'm gonna blame it on myself. <laughs> you know, it's kind of poor to blame crap on ammo. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, comment, share, and if this is on YouTube, uh, subscribe. Eventually, I'm gonna put these on YouTube. I don't know when. Yeah, see y'all on the next. And yes, uh, I'm doing multiple videos one day. Uh, if you wonder why the shirts hasn't changed, <laughs> I got two more to do. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all soon.